What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're gonna be talking about and one last card. We're doing one last gameplay today, and I'm just really, really like happy with this set as far as relatively affordable cards have gone. And then there's just one card left that I'm interested in. Cards that I've no interest in are like Antoine Jameson. Don't con you don't even consider picking up Jameson unless you're locking in for the Dark Matter. He's not good. And don't even consider picking up Jay and Ivy unless you're a Pistons fan or you're locking in for the Dark Matter. So, like that's basically it. That's all that they're um, that they're gonna be there for. Like that's what that's what those cards are there for. These are fodder. He's fodder. He's fodder. That's about 170k of fodder. But the other four cards are nice. I've already talked about Kessler, who I think is the best center you can buy in this game. I've talked about Poku, who I think is the best player you can buy in this game. And Jamal Crawford is the most fun player you can buy in this game. So these three cards are all exceptionally good. And I'm, I mean, even though I hated this card, man, I cooked in the gameplay with him. Um, but this is a really interesting card in Terrence Ross. Terrence Ross has got, like, a new release this year. He no longer jumps really high and, like, brings his elbow out like he used to. Terrence Ross has got a brand new release. And has got like weird animations that could make him real good because he's different. So like you can't, I always used to say this last year when every car got MJ dribble style. Whenever I do a gameplay where one of the few older cards had a Trey Young dribble style, I would burn them because they were expecting me to MJ burst and I Trey Young burst by them. That's the thing with Terrence Ross is that a lot of his animations nobody else has. 97 three ball, 98 driving dunk, 80 block, 90 steal, 90 perimeter defense, 92, 82 interior defense, 93 speed, 91 speed ball, 90 acceleration, 89 lateral quickness. So his stats aren't the greatest. They're fine. They're not the greatest. As far as badges wise go, it's not even brilliant either, like 56. So you're looking, he's obviously got range. He's going to be an elite dunker. Um, Like that's kind of what you're getting with him. But the, uh, the thing is, is that like, defensively no movable enforcer and a lot of the other defense badges on gold with no anchor so he's doesn't come with any great badges but there's just something about the card and that's the thing is like all of these guys in the set my my like the way to describe them is i'm like they shouldn't be this good but they are like he's got cp3 dribble style which is all right the leaner though it's just so quick it's pro. Doesn't get any separation, by the way. Gets no separation at all. But it's just a really, really quick leaner. He just pulls, he basically just pulls up on a dime. And it's, he gets a, it moves a little bit. So it's not like where he's just purely standing still. But that type of a shot right there can be hard to guard. Like if your opponent's behind you and you're out there pulling up like that. Or you come off a screen and you have a little bit more space. It's just like a quicker version of his jump shot. The fade animation is no different than a jump shot animation. His jump shot's elite. It's absolutely elite. The only thing is CP3 doesn't have the greatest cross in the world. Um, at the same time, though, he's going to dunk everything. It's Terrence Ross. It's Terrence bleeping Ross. Like, the guy is going to dunk absolutely everything in game, which is all you can ask for as well. And he's 6'7", not a bad shooting guard as far as... Not a bad size as far as shooting guards are concerned. But his wingspan is only 6'7", too. But again, he's another one that his release is just top tier. I know I'm missing a few of these shots, but trust me on this. This release is top tier. It almost reminds me of like a Vince Carter release. And when a 97 three ball in range, you're going to be pulling from here with ease. Like you just get that little bit of space... And you're gonna be if you're able to use that cp3 dribble stuff which i'm evidently not great with um and you're able to get that space he's going to be hitting shots so yeah i'm like i'm really looking forward to using this card i've shot around him i haven't used him in a game yet but he's just from shooting around some of the shots that i've been hitting some of the things i've been doing i've been really impressed with this card here so anyway now we're gonna green a deep three that's green a deep three mick not really deep, but I'll take the th green three, I guess. Um, now we're going to get on to the game. So I uploaded a hell of a lot of videos today. Like, like I think I've uploaded... Um, this is my video number 10, I think, of today. And I've got one more to do after this. So we're going to go to um, TTO, which is my favorite game mode. And I'm going to replace... I'm going to replace Jamal because he's going to be the guy that... Is going to be taking the Jamal role, but I really like Walker Kessler and I really like Poku. 
Um, and this mode is just enjoyable. But yeah, um, he's coming up against Shea Gills Alexander, a dude who has Terry Dishinger and Cat, a guy who paid money for or he paid his MT for Cat yesterday. Doesn't matter what he has, I got I got T Ross. And this is where we can see what he's made of, because this guy's got a squad. And I don't need to shoot every shot with him. Clip him. Into the big boy. Good dunk. There you go. So T-Ross is probably going to have to guard ball. None of the other guys are capable of really guarding ball here. He's gone. It's too, that's a good burst. Okay, this guy can hoop. Let's say we got Terry in a week. He's definitely just a sweat. Oh, he switched. I've got nothing out of this play right here. I've got to just hope I connect and pass to an open shooter. And green that. Let's go. Just stick on him. Oh, I thought he'd gone into me. That's fine. Can always X switch Poku onto a big. That's ah, way too open, Mick. Terry's release is nice though. I didn't thought maybe Terry didn't have that in him. Oh, it's open. That's not open. Okay. You know what? Like there's you gotta give credit to your opponent at times. Like there are games where, you know. Your opponent just cooks you. And this might be one of them. And if it is, so be it. It's a good rate steal. That's a great, great steal there. For Terror and Ross. It's a weird switch by him. Nice dunk there. Come on. Again, he's done nothing wrong. Nine each. Abin Garden Cat, and it's a tough shot if he hit, if he hits it. That should be green. And that is green from Terrence Ross. Let's go. 12-9 lead. He's now up to seven points. Terrence Ross is guarding Terry here. So X switch back. I'm there for Pokashevsky who doesn't block him. Okay. Maybe he got that teammate advantage. Poku decided not to block his teammate. Why not? No, 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 no. I thought he was going to give me some space there. CPU forced him to jump. And Terrence Ross gets the dunk. Come on. Again, we're facing a hell team right here. And this guy's good. I can live with that switch. That's my ball. Catch the ball, T. Ross. Oh, it's mine anyway. It's fine. Attack middle. You know what? I didn't dunk meter it, but it doesn't matter. Terrence Ross's dunk rating's high enough. Like, you're looking at, like, basically Vince Carter. That's terrible defense by me. I gave him so much space. I gotta just X-switch everything and hope for the best. Get the big man running through. Mailman dunk in there was was uh, very risky. You see where the screen's coming from. So he's not just going to ice on me here. He's going to pass. I can live with the two. I can live with that. I'm up 18-16. I'll take the two every time. He's going to expect me to use it. Uh, let's refuse. Why not just... You know what? That was a good defensive play by him. I think I made... What was probably a smart read, given the fact that I got takeover. Okay. Have to shoot it. shoot the fade, no matter what off this. No matter what, I gotta shoot the fade. Oh, I thought I had it. It's a steal. No, Boku. Cool, no threes, no threes. X switch that. Boku, you can track back. Apparently you can't. It's fine. T-Ross. 
And he's gonna expect me to use Kessler here. And I'm gonna hit Kessler in the corner. Go get it back to him. Wow, that's a bad pass. That should be green. No, I missed! It's fine, it's fine. I lose this game, it's all good. Oh, that's hell if he beats me with that. You know what? That was a fun game, my opponent beat me there. No, no getting screwed. I had my chance and I just missed time with T-Ross. Um, so in general, like, is he the best player in the game? No. Is he a guy that I would probably spend 130K for? No. But if I would use him, if I was like locking in, I'd still use Terrence Ross because I think he's very fun.